I'd like to talk in this video briefly about the ignore accidental click system built into SteadyMouse. Uh, this can take a little bit of getting used to, but in short order it'll be second nature. So this system, what it does is if you're uh, prone to accidentally clicking on mouse buttons, it, it blocks those accidental clicks. And it does so uh, based on how long they are held. So accidental clicks tend to be very rapid, whereas um, intentional clicks can be held a little bit longer. So I tell you that because as soon as you turn these settings on, you have to be ready for the mouse uh, button click feel to change a little bit. It doesn't change much, but it changes and that can throw people for a loop sometimes. I recommend when you start, uh, just turn it on for the right mouse button. The right mouse button is convenient because it's not always needed and uh, it lets you experiment a little bit before you get ready to do the heavy hitter, which is the left mouse button. Uh, you use the left mouse button all the time, whereas the right mouse button less commonly so. Okay, so now that this button is checked uh, and it's enabled for the right click, let's try it. I'm going to right click now and you see this little progress bar that appears. So I'll do that a couple of times. You notice it, it, it both shows up down here and it shows up with a little indicator next to my mouse. You can treat that like a stoplight. Any click that happens uh, rapidly where the, the bar does not reach the end, that click is ignored. Any click that's held a really long time, such that the bar turns red, uh, that one's ignored as well. Only clicks that are released when the bar is right at the top, green, those are the only ones that are accepted. So it's nice to practice that. Now, uh, when you have these checkboxes enabled, this little hold period tuning setting uh, is unlocked. You can, you can then drag this bar up and down. Now, um, when it's clicked, you can actually use the arrow keys on your keyboard to adjust it. I find that to be pretty convenient. So I'm hitting the right arrow key here, the left arrow key here. That way, uh, if you struggle with tremor, uh, you can adjust this without you know, too much trouble. Anyways, the goal is actually you want the lowest setting that works for you. So I, I'm going to show you just, if this is all the way at the top, two seconds, a right click takes forever. Here, so I'm holding down the right mouse button and you can see that the bar goes very, very slowly to the top and it would take a while to make an actual click. If I put it all the way at the bottom, 0.06 seconds, you see it's like very instant. Only extremely rapid clicks would be blocked. Uh, so your goal will be to just decrement this a little at a time and make sure it's still uh, blocking your accidental clicks. And you want to get to the lowest setting that works for you. So if you can get away with like say 0.12 seconds and it's blocking your accidental clicks, it means that your real clicks are just going to be held slightly longer and you'll hardly notice it, which is fantastic. Okay, after you've practiced this with the right button, and you're used to it now, then I think it's time uh, where you can turn on the left mouse button. As soon as you turn this on, and I'll do that now, the left button is changed. And so if you go to click on more things, you have to have it down where you hold it a little bit longer. So like, for instance, if I rapidly click the left button here, you'll see that they're being ignored. And if I wanted to turn this back off again, I, I have to hold down just a little bit longer. So you really have to, you know, uh, be used to ignore clicks functionality. And it's nice to get used to it with the right click before you turn it on for the left click. Now let me show you another thing. Now that left click is enabled, um, you'll see on the desktop it's still ignored. But if I hold the button down and drag, I still have click and drag functionality. As soon as the bar uh, reaches the end, the click becomes valid. So that's uh, one slight difference with left click that can take some getting used to. But in any event, uh, in this whole thing, if you run into any troubles uh, and you want to turn the click ignore off and just get back to normal settings, I mean, you can always toggle 
all of Steady Mouse off uh, using whatever key you have set, whether it's the scroll lock key or the num lock key, and you'll be back to normal clicking if you get into trouble. Uh, but anyways, uh, that's it. You know, I, I highly recommend experimenting using the right mouse button and uh, find the lowest hold period you can get away with. And other than that, uh, enjoy uh, not having too much trouble with accidental clicks any longer. All right, Godspeed.